Where's Brasidas? What do you want with him? We fought together. A friend? Yes, and a friend of Sparta. Now take me to him. Stop! I have orders. Stand guard and wait for reinforcements. They were due two nights ago. You can stop waiting. I've arrived. You? The Athenians are dogs at our throats. You won't talk so tough once you see them. I join you, and all they'll see is the ferryman. Ha! Well met, warrior. You better fight as good as you talk. Come, we go to Brasidas. For Sparta! And it is one you cannot win. If Rosidas dies, his blood is on your hands. His blood and every one of your friends. Are you mad? We can still stop. Enough! We will not stop. I don't want to kill you, Cassandra, but I will stop you. My name is Remus. <laughs> Ah! 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 
You're cold-blooded. I would have done the same at Pilos. Of course, that's not the first time you cast me away to die. Oh, so that's what they told you? It's what I know. So, what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you any time I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Abandon you? Is that what you call it? There's no other name for what you did to me. I was left to die. We tried to save you. They decreed my fate, and you accepted it. No one told you that I tried to save you? I ran to catch you. I killed an elder. That ended my life too. Always trying to play the hero. It wasn't enough then, and it isn't enough now. I did everything I could, and I'm doing the same today. It's too late. There's nothing you could say to make me feel like family. They've kept things from both of us. Right. Though you claim to know much more than me. It's Nikolaus. He isn't our real father. It was another man. A man like us. <laughs> How many more secrets am I supposed to take? When will I get the truth? Gods are cruel. Themos, we've been searching for you, and you are here, in the gutter. I heard shouting. It's nothing. 
Leave. Now! This was not your action to take, girl. Do whatever you want with him. I intend to. Now go. Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Alexius. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in squalor. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Killing your adversaries proves what kind of leader you are. Oh, I'm just getting started. If only you'd be around to watch. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Alexios. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleon. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. You help me in Athens, even willingly. If only you were more like your sister now. A pity. The cult wins, Alexios. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. human blessings after all. <sighs> At least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Alexios. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait, we need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief, his equipment for Navas. Come, Varnavas, Alexios, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long and built on corpses. You made it. Of course I did. Barnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? 
We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. So you're taking down Cleon? Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mitalini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. <sighs> I should have stayed. Preparing for an outcome that may never exist helps no one, wouldn't you agree? I can see where this is going, Socrates, and we don't have time for it right now. Aristophanes gave the same excuse, but yes, you're right. If you think there's something at the Acropolis, I'll find it. There you should find proof of Cleon's offenses. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Penix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. Finally, someone who's willing to have some fun. I'm not sure how many more times I can take Socrates rejecting me. I'm sure you'll get through it. Perhaps you can help take my mind off it. We're in the middle of a war. Cleon is wreaking havoc across the land. And you want to have fun? At least until I've spent every ounce of energy I can. Spend it on something more useful, then. What's more useful than releasing some stress in a trying time? I work better when I'm tense. Well, when this is all over with, perhaps you and I can find a nice, quiet place to unwind. We'll see. It'll be a disaster! A disaster, I tell you! Calm down! What are you talking about? My masterpiece! It will change everything! Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations! But I need you! I'm no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no! It's Thespis! My leading man is missing! A play with no star is no play at all! So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. 
Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. Oh. This act will avenge Pericles. I know he'd be proud. Good thing you arrived, Alexios. I am still exhausted from the ambush at the jail. Wasn't a bird. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. Muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. This shovel looks recently used. Looks like someone dug here.
Socrates was right. This is exactly what we needed. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilini is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us right now to change their minds. So, you'll join me? How am I supposed to help? You're the speaker, not me. That's exactly why you'll be able to help. I need you to act like the people who support Cleon. It won't be easy, but I'll do what I can. But Socrates, Cleon is a man of the people. Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am. What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? Yes, I'd still be responsible. You are almost too insightful, and you're completely right. If someone should be hurt by any means, and we play any role in that hurt, we are still responsible. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So let me ask you another question. Who should you trust, the many or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes. You're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians. Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilene, and we have the proof he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilene, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands, too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. Come on, come on, it... You don't look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! 
I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Rexenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. I'm sorry, but you can't be trusted to live. to him, if this is your wife, why did she charge me? <laughs> I'd love to stay, but my cup's drained and I'm to perform tomorrow. Another d I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm here for his employer, Aristophanes. So, he's not working now? Yes, I is not working. I like him though. Aristophanes, funny man. But the opinions told him it's dangerous. That it is. I need him sober and rested. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Axenor's orders are he's not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Go take your boys somewhere else. You will regret that. Get going. From your smell, you already know where the goat pens are. I'm sure they miss you. I is not feeling oh, too good. Oh, yeah. How low is that lunatic? <laughs> 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 He said, you're behind the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong, Ekaterini. Whee! Giddy up! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I fooled them, I became both. Told him. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know. True love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You need to sober up. This play is important. So is I, Caterini. I need my muse. Please. She's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. The sausage seller was I my idea. If leaving Cephalonia was I a will. good idea. I will. Hmm, not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespis said I'd find you here. Ah, 
my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. I thought you were Thespis's great love. That is love. This is commerce. So, what are you into? No. Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Rexenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Rexenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword, as proof. <sighs> I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. Only lucky. There seems little doubt that Rexenor is aligned with the Cult of Cosmos. There'll be trouble if I'm spotted here. You won't be making trouble anymore. Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant, but as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time. Or another. Now, 
We need to worry about Thespius and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change. For the better. I can see there is more in your eyes. But we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. Tell me you have news of Thespis? He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods. I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be his voice. For our children, if Cleon should perish! You also know what a pig's education he has had! Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like all daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas! The conspirators are murdering me! So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Alexios! Brasidas sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though, should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe. <laughs> 